I'm just glad. The Dickens family lives in Goodman. Tuesday, they saw their small town devastated by severe storms. They say it's still hard to believe what happened. The sirens went off. I still didn't pay no attention. Then I, I heard the wind. I got out and looked at the door. All I could see was trees down and power lines down and everything. I had never seen Goodman look like this before. Mm -hmm. I've seen it in other places, but when it hit home, it's, 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 but thank God, so far I know, no one lost their, no, lost their lives. Along with Holmes Community College, downtown Goodman was also hit hard by the storm. The entire town is without water or electricity. Alderman Michael Howard says they have crews already in town working on restoration. We got trucks on the ground. We got people out looking for our water. Some of our water is busted, but we got all, our maintenance and all out trying to do what we can. In the meantime, like I tell them, just hold on, we're going to get you there. Here at the Good Manor Apartments, several buildings have extensive roof damage, like the building that you're seeing behind me. The tenant who lives in that particular apartment says she is thankful that all of her children were not home at the time, or the outcome for her family could have been a lot worse. The one that you see right there, that is where my little girl and my little boy sleep. And when we came in there, we had bricks and everything on the bed. Just so happened they got out of school at 1130. I was trying to bring them home. And when I come in there, the bricks and stuff in there, they've been in there, they've been a disaster. Donald Young owns a convenience store in town. It was destroyed by the storm. He says he salvaged what he could so that he could give the food away to those who need the help. There's a lot of energy in the community and what more than give back to them because they don't have anything right now. At least I still have some stuff that I can give and that's a blessing right there. Marcus Hunter, 16 WAPT News.